This is News Nation Now. Good morning and welcome to News Nation Now. I'm Alexandra Bush. It is Sunday, April 25th, and right now you are getting a live look at a cloudy sky over Portsmouth, Virginia. Here's what you need to know this morning. We begin with the latest on the U.S.-Mexico border. Vice President Kamala Harris will meet virtually with Mexico's president next month. The two are scheduled to meet on May 7th to discuss solutions to the causes of the mass migration, including poverty, violence, and lack of economic opportunity. Also on the agenda, a tree planting initiative. The vice president is heading up the migration crisis for the administration. Tomorrow, she will meet with Guatemala's president. 82 people died and 110 were injured in a catastrophic fire that broke out in a hospital in Iraq. Among the dead were at least 28 patients on ventilators battling severe symptoms of the coronavirus. Negligence on the part of hospital authorities has been blamed for the fire, which initial reports suggest was caused when an oxygen cylinder exploded in an intensive care ward. In other world news, India is facing a devastating COVID surge with hospitals overwhelmed and oxygen running out. Right now, the country is seeing the world's worst spike, and for the fourth straight day, it has set new global record for cases. Families there say they are driving loved ones around trying to find hospitals that can take them, and patients are dying waiting to get inside. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said on Twitter last night, quote, we are working closely with our partners in the Indian government and we will rapidly deploy additional support for the people of India and India's health care heroes. Happening today, a funeral service for rapper DMX. He was remembered with a celebration of life at Brooklyn Barclays Center yesterday and a two-hour procession with more than 2,000 cars beginning in Yonkers, where DMX grew up, and that ended over at the arena there that you're looking at. He was 50 years old when he died earlier this month following a catastrophic cardiac arrest. The funeral this afternoon will be live streamed on BET. And it is Hollywood's biggest night. The Oscars are airing this evening and it will be a show unlike any other. With no audience, no host, nor face masks for nominees attending the ceremony at Los Angeles' Union Station. This year, Netflix dominated with 36 nominations, including the lead nominee, Mank. The night's top prize, Beck's picture, though, is widely expected to go to Nomadland. And Chadwick Boseman is expected to win Best Actor. And please let us know who you think should win on our social media pages. For now, I'm Alexandra Bush. Thank you so much for watching News Nation Now. Stay with us throughout the day for breaking news coverage here on our app and website. Plus, be sure to tune in tonight's News Nation broadcast. Have a great day.